Yeah, so, so we're in the UK, um, my first ever trip over to, to England and um, you know, I think it's been, been a success to be honest. Um, you know, we're finishing up now our, our, our four day um, experience with a tour around Carroll Road. We brought the boys down here last night, um, they got to see the live Premier League game against Manchester United and then um, we're now getting to see the stadium where um, the Manchester United players and Norwich players were playing last night, so you know, unbelievable experience. Yeah, I think you know it's gone as, as well as it could have. You know, we have to review it now, and I mean, you can always do do better. Um, but for a first hit out, you know, I think we've done um, a sterling effort, and I can't thank the staff enough. You know, from um, from the media guys to, to Juan Carlos, um, Ryan, you know, has been an absolute absolute trooper. You know, I think everyone's really dug in, and it shows kind of what this project's about. That it's it's not just the glitz and glamour, but we've got people that are really here for the cause and just to do the best for the players. The best thing probably about the academy is just being able to meet different footballers from around the world and play against the big teams that you wouldn't get to in Australia. The coaches here are absolutely amazing. They help me in everything, uh, teach me the movements, the runs, the passes, 
what to do and what not to do and to be honest I've become such a better player since I've arrived. If I had to describe football in one word I would choose magical. It's just a sport that I couldn't describe how, how much it means to me and it, everything revolves around it and it's just all I have and it's all I'm going to have and it's all I want to do for the rest of my life. I would say life because I feel like my life moves around football and it's just I'm always watching football, I'm always playing football and I just always have it on my mind. Probably a dream, you know. God's given me the ability to play so I'm enjoying it. Um, I have to keep working hard training and I'll see where it takes me. I play football because I love it, I just like playing. I love uh, the game, especially Spanish football. Uh, for me, is like, is my life. This is my life. I think I have talent, but like I say, it's not enough for all players. Even if you have talent, you have to work next to training and do everything you can to be at the top level. Basically, just um, if you want to make it, just go for it. Train hard, work hard, and don't give up. Uh, be able to adapt and change to things. Soccer is a very subjective sport and it's all about the coach's mind and what they're trying to play, but it's really been a fantastic experience for me and I would recommend you come try it out yourself.
Hello and welcome here in Granada. We are hotly anticipating the upcoming clash of the FC Malaga City Under 21s against Arenas de Armia, one of their cadete youth sides here tonight in Granada. So, a cold night here, and we are kicking off a little bit late, as you can see the players taking to the pitch now. We are kicking off just a bit late, as Armias did have to announce a signing of a former La Liga player. So there was the presentation of that beforehand, which is why we're kicking off 10 minutes late. So I will inform you more about that as I get the information as, as I can. But as the players take the field, we will flash up the lineup graphic right about now as I am standing next to the lovely producer, Mark Bridal, and we will take you through the team. So in goal, we have number 13, Musa. At right back, number two, Nick Filipovich. 15 in the back, we have Moni and Etienne. Number six, Gabriel, the Brazilian, plays on the wing with Felix, Ali, and Jack making up a midfield three with CDAC senior first team player Ilham Yuda playing the number seven, Reza in 23, and number 12, Kemet Page rounding out Alvaro Arias' side for the night. We do have substitutions that we will get to as soon as we see them. So, and of course, for everyone watching back home, please let us know where you're watching from. Please drop as many comments as you can, and we would love to hear from you. We'd love to hear who you're supporting, where you are, and what time it is where you are. Y a todos los brasileños, por favor, ponen tus comentarios, porque sabemos que estás allá mirando de Brasil, y queremos ver todos de sus comentarios. So, as you can see now, the players are in their positions and underway. I will be watching from the small screen tonight as our production van is currently under the stadium to escape the conditions. But we do have the dueling Ellie's or Ellie Squared outside patrolling, filming just everything they can, braving the rain and the about, about four degree weather tonight here in the mountains of Granada. Even though we do live on the Costa del Sol in Almanacar, Granada is a bit further north and it does get quite cold here. So, looks like everyone is ready. The referee will be here at some point. You can see in the big green jacket, that is none other than our wonderful photographer, Florencia Busso, outside, who we do have to send congratulations to Flor. Just organized an absolutely fantastic media day for the Almanacar boys. So, all those posts that you are seeing on social media nowadays, that all the players are putting up, all your sons are putting up. That is all credit to the hard work of Flor Butso. So big shout out to her. All those beautiful pictures and all those shots that you see are all courtesy of her. Wow, we do have a lot of comments rolling in, and we will try to read them all out once the game gets underway. I see a very busy comment section already. So all the fans, all the fire emojis, everyone cheering people on. Let's see, w let's see all your comments and all your support. We can't wait to hear from you tonight as we are about to get underway here. Looks like we are missing a ball and a ref. Two very important points of the match and seem to be lacking here in Aramia. But I'm sure they'll get out there just as soon as we can and we look to get underway.
Well, after that delay, you can see the small clad in black figure running across the field, and right away he blows the whistle, and we are underway here in Armia. So we do apologize for the delay. The referee was getting changed after his training session beforehand. So one of the Armia staff will be taking the reins today. We do have a lot more comments coming in. All of them are in Portuguese, unfortunately. My Spanish does not ascend too much from Portuguese, but we do have a comment from Pilar Gonzalez. Apoyando Arenas desde Colombia, dice, ¿no? Así que un fanático de Armias en Colombia. Estamos muy feliz que estás comentando. Estamos muy feliz que estás mirando nuestro partido. Así que muchas gracias por el comento. Y sí, porque sí, pero estamos en Malaga City, pero podemos dar apoyo a todos los equipos aquí. So Flor Butso leaves the pitch, so waving to the cameras as she goes. The referee looks to complete his final checks and get us underway. So after a bit of a delay for a La Liga signing and the waiting for the referee, we are finally underway here in Granada. Armias will look to possess out of the back. We're not too sure what age group this is for Armias, but a mixed squad here for the FCMC under 21s should provide for an interesting contest. So early pressure from Malaga City. Armias doing well under pressure to maintain possession. Do have the names and numbers up. It will be a bit tougher to see some of the numbers on the small screen, so I apologize for see for maybe not being able to see all the numbers. But that's number seven, Ilham Yuta, looking to get in behind here, squares the ball across the middle and wins a co an early corner here for the FC MC under 21s within the first minute. So a high pressing start for Alvaro Arias's side. Front three pressing high, and that's a front three of Ilham, Reza, and Kemet Page. So it'll be interesting to see how those three interact together, not having played together very much before. So, first real chance of the game here with an FC MC corner. Ball swung into the box, looking for the head of Reza. It bounces in the box. Can we get a strike away here? Ball is cleared by Armias, just out of the reach of Kemet Page. Looks like br the Brazilian Gabriel cuts inside. He ha might have the run there of Reza in behind. Does well to recollect, and Armias maintain possession. Possession from Armias over to the left wing. You can see just if the if the screen and the camera catches the light correct. There you can see it now. The rain teeming down in the background, which is rare for for Spain. But during the winter, it can get cold and can be rain. So I th suppose we should be a bit fortunate that it's not actually snowing tonight because this is quite north in Spain. So the snow is definitely possible. We do have loads and loads of comments coming in. Muchos fanáticos de Arenas de Bogotá, Colombia y Toro de Colombia. Así que no sé si hay jugadores de Colombia jugando para Armias, pero estamos muy felices que estás en nuestros comentarios mirando, mirando el partido en todo tu apoyo, mejor nuestro canal y nuestro club también. Así que muchas gracias por todo el apoyo de Colombia. A referee blows for a stoppage in play. And after a brief stoppage, there we are. We can see the left winger, or left back, looks like number six, Gabriel, plays the ball into the feet of Malaysian midfielder Ali Putra, who's wearing the number 11 kit tonight. Ali's had a very good few days of training, seen him in the gym a few times, so he was raring to go tonight, very <coughs> fit and ready to play. Been having a few good weeks of training, playing a new position in the six instead of the 10 now, but he seems to be taking the change of position in stride doing the best he very the very best he can to already on this team and on this game. There is that ball from that man Putra looking the back post. Filipovic picks it up near the edge of the area. Armias will look to counter here with numbers in behind. But good defending on the right hand side there. Looks like that could have been number seventeen Felix. I am not watching from field level today, so it will be more difficult to see the numbers. But I do know most of these players, so that looks like Jack, Ar Jack Atkas on the ball now. 
And there is number two, the Canadian Nick Filipovich. Jack picks up the ball in the middle, plays a quick one too, but it's turned over to Armias. Drive forward confidently. Ball slipped in the right channel. Essien will have a bit of work to do coming across and does his job very, very well as the ball goes out for an Armias throw in. Referee signals just like that for an Armias throw in, uh, despite the protests of Essien. Throw in taken quickly. Number 17, Felix, one of the new signings here over the winter window for FCMC. So immediately goes into action within one of his first few weeks of being here. Felix, originally in Estepona, decided to make the jump to Malaga City <laughs> and Almanyakar. Looks to make an instant impact here. Number seven, Ilham Yuta pressing high. Of course, you will all know Ilham Yuta from the CD Almanyakar senior setup. There have been some very good videos of him on Instagram, a great servant to the club. Always online, always a big big media presence. Similarly, I call him the CDAC Lucas De Paula. With because of his Instagram presence, but Ilham Yuta will look to make an impact today. Needs to get some minutes o under his belt, coming back from a nasty injury still last year. So it's great to see him back on the pitch, playing full games. So really big shout-out to Ilham Yuta. Great to have him back on the pitch and getting competitive minutes. Armias looks to break, but the ball is shepherded out for an Armias corner. And we do get our first look at Musa Sangare in the net today, the French French netminder, fresh off a double session with both the CDAC under-23s and doing the goalkeeper session for the CDAC senior side. So Musa Sangare in goal tonight. Of course, you'll know his brother Zuma Sangare of the FC MC23s who did notch a goal in last week's performance. So great to see the pair of brothers back after winter break. Corner taken by Armias, bounces in the box, cleared out by Gabriel, looking for the feet of Yuda, and the attempted shot slash re-entry from Armias goes harmlessly into the stand behind the goal. And while we have a second, we do have a comment from one of my favorite people in the club, Alberto Cuesta Torres. Vamos, mi amigo, Braden, to protege su lugar de midfield. Mañana nos vemos al entreno, amigo. Alberto está mirando a partido de Valila. Ojalá con, con quien no, nadie sabe, pero Alberto, uno de los delanteros del CD de Almenia Carcinia, un muy bien jugador y muy bien trabajador del club. Y es, es un placer que saber Alberto Cuesta. Así que Alberto, gracias por mirando, gracias por el comento. Y si hasta mañana entreno, tú vas a marcar muchos goles para mi equipo. Así que vamos a ganar esta fin de... Nos vemos, máquina. We do have some more comments coming in as well as Armias looks at breaking behind on the wrong side of Gabriel. The attempted cross just is not caught right. Gabriel will look to break out here. Jack just muscled off the ball a little bit. We've got some comments from Iwansle Delamini looking for Felix. I believe Felix, and we have another comment from Felix from Thato Sepopella. What position is Felix playing? Felix today is in the midfield three. I believe he's on the left-hand side. Of course, his first game for the club here in Almanyekar has fit in brilliantly with the guys, but those midfield three is a bit but the midfield three can be a bit interchanged with Ali Putra, I believe, taking up more of the number six destroyer role with Felix and Jack, the Canadian Jack, on either side. So we look for them to switch positions, which would be very interesting to see against an Armia side, which is notoriously difficult to break down. Armia's looks to break in behind here. The shot saved by Sangari, but the referee whistles for offsides. So we'll get a replay of that for you now. And it just does look like he drifted to the wrong side of Essien. The run behind Filipovich looked offside for me. Producer's nodding his head in agreement, so I think we'll all agree with that. And this is looks like Moni taking the free kick. Long ball out. Looking for the head of Reza. Can Jack pick up the second ball? Armias just get there first. Reza will look to press. Reza been training with the CDAC under 23 side. I had the privilege of training with him today. Very good striker. Real, real eye in front of goal. Real nose for the goal. A striker, striker can really get the ball in the net. We do have a comment from Rafael Perez. Esto que es Alberto un torneo español en los Estados Unidos. And has decided to translate it for me. Hey, bro, the tournament is in the United States or in Spain. Este partido está jugando 
en Armías, en España, una, una puebla muy cerca de Granada, pero más o menos 5 kilómetros fuera del centro de ciudad de Granada. Así que es un partido amistoso porque nuestro equipo sub-21 no está en una liga, así que ellos juegan partidos amistosos contra muchos equipos de toda España. Y a Francia también porque los sub-21 iban a París para jugar contra PSG, así que ese equipo y nuestra Carmina dar muchas buenas experiencias a todos los jugadores aquí. Comment coming in from Brian Rodriguez. Let's go, boys. Yes, Brian. Yes, indeed. Let us know who you're supporting. We'll make sure to give them a shout out as well. As the FCMC under 21s looks to break here. Big sliding challenge there from Armias as Ilham was lurking at the back post, looking to tap into the open net. So a really big tackle there. So who drove forward confidently? Let's see if we can get a look at that. That's number 12, Kemet Page, the American from Atlanta, Georgia, drove confidently down the line, taking on two defenders before sw squaring to the middle. But his pass intended for Yuta was just cut out. Yuta with the corner kick. Outswinger doesn't beat the first man. And of course, you are, you are learning now from us that <laughs> from my last few days of commentary, nothing irks me more than a corner that doesn't beat the first man. But my Sangare is a long way out of his goal. Can Armias capitalize? Oh, the strike at goal just doesn't catch it right. But wow, huge chance there for Armias. Really not sure how that came about. But either way, Sangare did just enough. And the retreating defender, I believe that was Essien off the line, was able to clear. So chance and crisis averted there, and that's really good play. Looks like that was number six, Gabriel, playing the ball into the midfield, but lost out by Ali Putra. Got more comments rolling, and I love all these comments tonight. Charlie G, very good Spanish, my friend. Charlie, thank you very, very much. I do try my best. Commentating by in <laughs> bilingual, <laughs> bilingual isn't exactly my specialty, but I do try my best to give in both languages. So if there is a comment in Spanish or English, I will try to read it and I will try to answer it. So any questions you may have, let me know. So uh, Tato Sapel is Malcolm on Malaga's bench. We have not received Malaga's bench yet. I will be getting that at half time. So as soon as we know that information, we will pass it on to you. Dave Gilbert, hello. Who are the substitutes for FCMC? Dave, as I just addressed, I will be getting those substitutes at halftime. Assistant coach Charlie Malman will send them to me, but do expect to see wholesale change at halftime, especially in a friendly match like this. It's all about minutes and getting the experience for these players. So Dave, as soon as I see that, I will get it to you. And Rafael Perez in Spain, there are a lot of good players for USA. Si Rafa, cien por cien. Hay muchos buenos jugadores aquí. Quien pueden jugar profesional en los Estados Unidos para universidades o profesional también. Así que hay muchos jugadores aquí y con muchos americanos mirando. Nadie sabe qué puede pasar. JC23, come on U21 boys. Yes, indeed. Go on to the U21s. So while we were talking, number 23, Reza had a chance capitalized on a short back pass there, flicked around the keeper, but just wasn't quick enough to catch up to the ball on the other side. But another chance for FCMC here. As the ball comes in from Yuta, good header defended away. Kemet Pedro looked to track it down and keep it in play, but the ball on the slippery surface just rolls out. So chances coming here for the FCMC 21s. Very open game so far in the first 12 minutes. So we've got Tato Sepopela in the comments. I hope to see Malcolm on very soon. I do believe he is on the bench. Very potent midfielder. Mentored him myself. So we do have Malcolm's mentor and trainer here in the stream. So we are very honored to have you on the stream. We hope to see Malcolm in the second half. Hope he can find his way onto the score sheet and live up to all the billing that you're putting on him. But it'll be great to see Malcolm on the pitch very soon. We hope you can, hope you can do everything you say. 
Of course, we've got another comment from John Curte, Braden on the mic, things you love to hear. John Curte, not sure if he's back in Spain or still in the U.S., but of course, John Curte from the FCMC under 23s. Did go home for Christmas, haven't been seen him back since. That doesn't mean he's not coming back in FC MC 23 has been a key player for them, popping up with goals and assists. I believe he had the game-winning assist on a 90th-minute winner in one of the games early in the first semester. So it'll be great to see John back here hopefully pretty soon. I know he's probably in North Carolina or New York right now, but great to have him on the stream with us. Great to hear from you, John. Hopefully we'll be seeing you very soon. Chipped ball down the left-hand side from Armias. Evades the touch of the winger. And Filipovic will take the throw in. Ali Putra in space in the middle if Filipovic chooses to go to him. And chooses against the option of Putra. Instead looks for Reza, but it's cut out by Armias. Drive forward, a quick little one-two. Looks to play around Essien, who does well to confidently step in. Find the feet of Reza. Bit of time and space here. Reza plays in behind on the right wing. That's Kemet Page. Yuda's in the middle if you can find the pass. Page does well to get to the ball first. Passes it into the middle, cut out for a corner. And on the stream as well, we have Frank Curte, which is John Curte's dad. Braden, Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you as well, Frank. Great to hear from you. Hopefully all is well in NC and NYC. Really nice to hear from you. Great to have you on the stream. Hopefully John's coming back out here soon. Hopefully you're coming back out here soon. Love to see from you again. Love to see you again. Love to hear from you again. So thanks for hopping on the stream. As that corner taken in, chance here for FCMC. Ball bouncing in the box. Can it be cleared? Armias do finally get a touch on it, but looks like two of our players got in the way there of each other. We'll get a replay for of that for you just as soon as we can as the ball goes back to the feet of Sangare. Long ball for Musa. Looks for Jack in the middle, just missed controls, ball skimming off the wet surface. Really tough to tough to bring the ball down with not too much time and space, but Reza does well to recollect. Thought he was gonna have a go from range, but instead was looking for Ilham Yuta on the left wing. Frank Curte just corrected me in South Carolina. We knew it was one of the Carolinas. I was close. We were within a few we were within a few hundred miles in, on the US East Coast. Great to have both of you there. And of course, Devin Sierra, let's go boys. And Devin Sierra looking, of course, of FCMC fame, both Trista Sierra and then her brother in the coming year. So we should be seeing him on the pitch in the second half. Hopefully he's all okay. And of course, I know a lot of people are asking for substitutes. We will get them just as soon as we can. We will get that list up. And because I know you're all watching, looking for your loved ones, your son, on the pitch. And we will tell you just as soon as we know. I will try to go out at halftime and pester Charlie Malman for that. So good defensive work here from Malaga. Ball chipped up, brought really down well by Jack in the center. Armias looks to counter. Cuts inside, slipped through ball in behind, cut out really well and cleared from range. believe that's Essien playing on the right side of the back. It's either Essien or Moni. I do not have the numbers in front of me right now, so we are just simply looking on the screen. We're doing what we can. We will get those names to you as best we possibly can. Ball played in the midfield. So it looks like the wingers have been starting to interchange positions. Reza seems to be pretty consistent through the middle. But both Yuda and Page have been swapping sides, looking to create some confusion amongst, amidst the Armias backline. And the shot from Armias does go wide, harmlessly wide, of Sangare's goal. So a chance here for Armias. The number two whips it into the middle. Good clearance. That's number 15, Moni. And then the follow-up shot from number 20, Sales wide. Made good contact on it. Just lacked a bit of the accuracy that would really would have fashioned a chance. Long ball from Sangare. Over the head of Putra. Armias collect. So we have a comment from Zhao Colejo. Essien is on the left-hand side. Okay, perfect. That is very helpful to me. So uh, helping the commentator is a very big plus. So Essien on the left, Moni on the right. We have learned that. We will remember that. And that block by Yuda is whistled for a handball, it looks like. Bit of a strange one there. Referee stopped the play late. Looked like a clean block to me just off the side of the body. The referee may have seen something different. We've got a replay of that now. Ball does eventually make its way upfield. Yuta in behind. Shot was taken. 
looked like it could have been an outstretched hand. Referee seems to agree with it. I'm not too sure from the commentary positions than I do. But nevertheless, the referee has signaled for a free kick in a very dangerous position here from Armias. Let's see how Sangare sets up his wall, and let's see how they counter this. So, free kick taken, number 10. Goes to the crossing option, back post. Ooh, big let off there for the FCMC under 21s as one of the players, one of the Armias players was unmarked at the back post. So the whole world thinking he's going to have a shot here instead decides to whip it into the box. Really good defensive header from number 15, Moni, there to clear the ball. Well, referee, well spotted by the referee as well to give a corner. There we see Nick Filipovich, the Canadian, heading back to his position on the near post as Armias set up for a corner. Corner taker for Armias. Ball swung in. Can Sangare deal with it? No, he can't. And Armias take the lead with what has to be said is a brilliant back post header by the Armias player and gives them the advantage right on the 20 minute mark here in Granada. So, FCMC pegs back early here. Let's see how they can respond. We'll have a look at the goal now. So again, set pieces, set pieces, set pieces. Ball swung in dangerously. Very good corner. Sangare just gets caught underneath it. Might have gotten a bit of a touch on it with that outstretched left hand, but not enough to deter the striker who nods home confidently into the empty net. So 1-0 to our mass with still plenty of time left to go. FCMC have been fashioning a good amount of chances. Let's see if they can continue doing that. But dwelt too long there by Essie, and Armias are in behind here. Could it be two in two minutes? The strike, wow, what a finish that was right into the top corner. And it's two in about 30 seconds here for Armias. Who oh, really pegs back there. Not the response that FCMC wanted at all, but what a goal that was. Much to the delight of the Armias boss behind us. So let's see. Essien gets the ball in the pocket. His left-footed pass is intercepted by number 20, who drives forward confidently. Wow, sometimes as a goalkeeper and sometimes as a team, you just have to hold your hands up and say, what a finish that was. Two goals in two minutes for Armias, but there is absolutely no shame in conceding that the goal off of that finish. Wow, what a rocket. So 2-0 here, and Malaga have all of a sudden a mountain to climb in the first half. So, Page does well. That wry smile on his face makes me think that it wasn't actually a corner. But Page does well to sell it and earns his side a corner. So, Yuta over to take again. FCMC have been dangerous from here. We've just conceded off a set piece. Let's see if we can get one of our own from a set piece. Big chance last time. Two of the players seem to get in the way of each other. So, let's see if they can sort it out. Yuta, outswinger. There's that first man again. Ball just doesn't get over the head of the first man. Can't be a chance created. There's no second ball that'll drop down. It's very difficult to continue. Yuta goes quick to number 17, Felix. Gets it back into the feet of Reza. Reza looks to play Yuta. Cut out by the Army of Defense and cleared by the keeper. Into the feet of Reza. Reza into the middle to Putra. Can Putra look to have a shot? No, chooses unselfish play to Felix. Felix does well to shed the tackle of the Armia defender and the referee signals for a foul. So really good play there from Felix. Just putting his body between the ball and the defender, drawing that foul from the referee. So free kick here for FCMC. You, Ilham Yuta over it. Let's see what he decides to do. It may just be on the far side for a shot, but we've seen Ilham Yuta do it before, of course. Eagle-eyed viewers of the matches from last show remember some of his wonder goals for the under-19s. So let's see if he can bring it into, under, into senior football, see what he can do with the under-21s. Yuta over the ball confidently. Looks like he'll swing this one in instead. Beautiful chip ball in behind. Defended away by Armias. What can we do with the second ball? Picked up on the right side by number six, Gabriel, and cleared for yet another FCMC corner. Believe that's corner number five or six here in the early stages for FCMC. So creating the chances in the attacking half just needs to capitalize and find the finish. 
Yuta over to take again. Maybe better for the left foot of Gabriel to inswing. Yuta decides to go with the outswinger instead. And he's decided just to make a target of the first post, <laughs> the first post player's head. And it's cleared again, and Armias looks to counter. Long ball in behind on the wrong side of Moni is the Armias attacker. Has him isolated 1v1, which Filipovic recovering, but the touch around. Sangare dives at his feet. Ball touched out by Gabriel at the back post. Swung back in dangerously, and it looks like an Armias player is down here as the referee blows the whistle to stop play and goes and checks on him. So, here's the replay of that. So, from the corner, straight back up the other end for Armias. Moni goes to close him out. Lovely little nutmeg there. Great bit of skill. Sangari dives at his feet. And looks like he caught a bit of the striker's body on his way out, which I believe is the cause of the injury. But good to see the number 20, who did just score that wonder goal into the top corner. Good to see one of the clear attacking threats of Armias get back up quickly onto his feet and looks to be okay enough to soldier on. Back to the comments. We have none other than our favorite Frenchman, Hugo Vicente. Brayden, nice to hear you. Hugo, we hope all is good. Of course, Hugo Vicente. People who have watched the most recent CDAC senior streams will know Hugo Vicente as the scorer of the first half hat trick from the last game, as well as two goals the game before that against Cubias, bringing his total to five in two games, vaulting the CDAC seniors up to second in the table. Fellow CDAC player, Ilham Yuta breaks in behind. Can he find the pass in the middle? Decides to cut back. Oh, what a brilliant sliding tackle. Defends the ball away for a corner. But great to hear from Hugo Vicente, our French wizard, as I like to call him, and as I'll call him in the newsletter this month. So great to hear from Hugo. And if you are a fan of our French winger, Hugo Vicente, or French striker, Hugo Vicente, as he now likes to be referred to as, please tune in this Sunday to we should be covering the CDAC senior game in a massive clash against Puerto de Motril. And if we do get a result there, we can pull within just one point of first position in the league. So don't forget to tune in on Sunday. And Hugo, great to hear from you as always. Corner swung in, no challenge there, but at the back post, and it turned in. That looks like number 12, Kemet Page, coming in late, and it's a goal for Malaga seemingly out of nothing. Wow, Malaga strike back here off a corner. Let's see who that was. It could have been Gabriel. It could have been Kemet. It was difficult to see from this angle, but we've got the fantastic replays for you now. So in swinging corner, not attacked by anyone, and that is the left footer, number six, Gabriel Nipping in at the back post just past the outstretched arm of the keeper. So Gabriel pulls one back for us on the 27-minute mark, and all of a sudden, it's game on again. So as you can see from the replay, no one reacted to the first clearance except for Gabriel. Quickest to react... Quickest to react, nips in behind, and it's game on. And now, replying to the Hugo Vicente comment, we have none other than El Queso Grande, as lovably known to Richard Jackson, George Jeremy on the stream, French, wish, French wizard, but second place in CrossFit. George, of course, referring to the competitions between him and our winger Hugo Vicente with CrossFit training with Paco Fernandez, where I believe George has come out on top for, if not one, two or three consecutive weeks. So Hugo clearly lacking behind in the fitness, but does find himself knocking in the goals for George's side. So great friendly competition between the two there, really pushing each other on in terms of CrossFit. But Hugo, I'm sorry to say, I do not see you beating George in any CrossFit workout anytime soon. Maybe a few months before you do that. So George, great to have you on board with us tonight. One more goal, vamos. Yes, indeed. Great to hear from you again. Hope you're enjoying watching the game. Hope you're enjoying the stream, and we could not be happier to bring you this game. And, of course, we have none other than McKee. Hi, Braden. Big love from Aaron, Shawnee, Jacob, Andrew, and Josh should be watching. Those are all my housemates watching from the apartment now, along with our French winger, Hugo Vicente. 
So, of course, those names you will realize, Aaron McKee from the CDAC Seniors and under CDAC Senior and under 23, well with Shawnee, Philip Nishikswa, Jacob Thompson of FCMC Senior fame, as well as Andrew Meza and Josh Khan, both members of the CDAC Senior side. So great to hear from those guys, and really great to see all the support from players in the academy tuning into this under-21s game tonight. They've got countless things to do in Alman Yekar, but instead they choose to be supporting their friends, their mates, everyone that they care about. So this club really is one big family. So awesome to see everyone supporting supporting the team together as Armias break forward and tuck it into the back post to make it 3-1. So a bit of a goal fest coming on now as the Armias winger. I think that was the ever dangerous number 20. Breaks down the right-hand side again. Squares the ball into the middle and the striker makes no mistake tucking his finish into the bottom left corner. Ball squared into the middle, indeed. The wrong side of Essien, who seems to be protesting for a foul and tucked away. So number 20, the danger man there, just doesn't, the left side of the defense doesn't seem to have an option. Doesn't seem to have much of a way to stop him. So uh, will definitely be a point of concern for head coach Alvaro Arias to address at halftime. But this games like this are about experience, about learning. So oftentimes you do run up against a player like that, similarly to our Hugo Vicente, who teams have been struggling to contain all year. But you run up against a player such as that, that you need to take special care of, special treatment of. And so it'll be good learning experience for our boys to finally figure out and solve the puzzle and solve the riddle of how to play against a player such as that. We've got George back in the comment two or three times, two or three months. But he can't beat him on the pitch. He says that's where it counts. Well, George, not sure how true that is, as it is a full 11-person effort on the pitch, and that has led to five straight victories for the CDAC senior side, whose title challenge has kicked into high gear over the last few weeks. So, Ugo, I will make sure I yell at him to pick up his CrossFit workouts. So as long as George is be beating him there, and as long as CDAC senior keeps winning on the pitch, I believe it'll be one big happy year. It might be an uh, awesome party at the end of the season once we get our promotion. Possession again, one back by Armias. Left-footed long ball into the inside of Filipovic. Sangari long way off his line there. Slides, doesn't come up with the ball. Armias looks to counter ball. Squared into the middle. Beats one defender, but doesn't beat Essien trailing the play, who clears that field. But it's one-way traffic now for Armias. Driving back forward confidently. Lovely little turn in the midfield. Kimoni defended away. Chooses to go to the left wing. Filipovic out to defend. Gives him a bit of a shove. Ball swung in dangerously. Sangare just misses it, and it finds its way into the back corner for a 4-1 lead for Armias in 32 minutes. So the goal fest continues here with, I'd say, four goals in the span of 10 minutes, maybe a bit less. Let's have a look at this one again. Filipovic goes out, does well to defend the cross slash side with the striker that runs just in front of the path of Sangar. It possibly threw him off there and just couldn't react quick enough to the either touch or lack thereof as the ball finds its way into the back of the net. And once again, the two, the three goal advantage now, now restored for Armias and FCMC under 21 with a mountain to climb. Armias counter again, looking in behind, cut out well by Essien and then cleared by Moni. To the feet of Yuda, whose one touch pass cannot find Gabriel and out for an Armias throw. Armias drive forward, ball in behind Essien. Could be in here. The shot into the hands of Musa Sangare to prevent any further damage as we approach the last 10 minutes of the half. Yuda does well to shield the ball and maintain possession. Felix into the feet of Gabriel. Yuda. Gabriel again, oh, but the wet surface again, ball just skimming off it a bit more, goes out for an Armias throw. Armias do well to switch the player under a bit of pressure there from the under 21s.
Possession from Armia. Closed down well in the midfield by Putra. <coughs> Felix ushers the ball back to Essien, who clears. Ball in behind. Can Gabriel deal with it? Yes, does well. Finds Yuta in space. Ilham will look to drive forward. Cuts back. Lovely little turn there just to get away from the tackle of the Armias defender. Felix to Jack. Jack just loses out. Reza will go chased. Looks like a bit of the energy, of just a bit of the wind has just been sucked out of this FCMC under 21 side. It's always tough to concede a few goals in a row, but now it's about reaction. If we can get a goal before halftime, match is certainly not over yet. And with chances of plenty for both sides, I'm sure there will be more goals in this game. Ball played inside. Drives forward onto the left foot. Will he have a shot? No. Chooses to stay dribbling with the right and is taken down by Jack Atkus for a free kick in an incredibly dangerous spot here. Alarm bell should be ringing in the head of Sangare. So let's see. The number 10 cuts inside. Jack Atkus follows, follows, and then just leaves a bit of a toe in. So the referee signals for a foul. On the replay, doesn't look like he was touched too, too much, but enough for the referee. And this leads to a free kick from Armias, and I'd probably say about 20 yards from goal and a huge chance here to add to their lead. So a central free kick is always difficult for a keeper to set the wall because he doesn't know if a righty or a lefty is taking it. Looks like only a right footer over the ball here. So I would set up my wall similar to the way Sangare has on my right-hand side but I'm not too sure about his positioning right now. There seems to be a lot of his left-hand side of the goal open. Let's see if the striker realizes that, or it could just be a trick of the camera. Armias takes, going for that left-hand side of Sangari, and a whisker away over the bar. Whew, let off there. Let's have a look at that up close. So the Armias player steps forward, just clips it over the wall. Sangare rooted to the spot and a hair over the bar. Huge let off there. Questions do need to be asked of Sangare on the positioning of the wall as there seems to be a whole lot of goal to aim at. Oftentimes free kicks from that close of a position are difficult for the, for the attacker to get up and down over the wall. But with so, with so much space provided, he almost didn't need to get it even back down. He may have just been able to go around the wall. But nevertheless, a let off there for FCMC as we have a throw in in the attacking half. Touch off the foot of Reza is defended away for yet another FCMC throw. Filipovic, Reza. Cuts back but loses out. Chance for Armias here to counter with Filipovic out of position. Good backtrack by Felix, but they do expose that space in behind Filipovic, but really good defending there from Mani. Armias go quick. Look to maintain possession. A referee has yet to signal. It will be... We are all waiting in suspense. A throw-in for Malaga. Referee seems to be waiting to decide himself, so kept all of us in suspense. And then is ultimately decided, with a flip of his coin, to give an FCMC throw. Filipovic into the feet of Atkas. Filipovic does well to turn out of pressure, but loses out on the next attempt. Through ball in behind. He's in behind here. Hopefully an offside flag goes up. What a tackle that is for Musa Sangari. Decides to go with his feet that time, but hits pay dirt, hits the jackpot, wins the ball. Brilliant tackle. Malaga looks to break. Ball just too far for Reza, who gets then skipped past, but, not, but the long ball can't beat the outstretched leg of Filipovic. There you get a good shot of two of the midfield three, Ali Putra and Felix. Of course, Ali Putra, a veteran of the FCMC setup, was here last year with the under-16 side, made the jump into the under-21s this season. So really great to see players coming back like Ali Putra. Really good guy to have around, very fun to talk to, always wants to lap up just as much knowledge and experience as he can. I know he's a very close relationship with assistant coach Charlie Malman, and there's really not a better person that you can learn from than a former PSG player. So Ali hopefully getting all the information he can and has a great future ahead of him. Throw in for Armias as we enter the last six minutes of the first half. 
not expecting there to be too much added time as Malaga look to build. Thrown from Gabrielle, finds Jack. Brought down well by Reza. Back into Reza again and threw a one-two with Gabrielle. Yuda in, in behind here, could be 1v1. Let's see if he cuts in on his right foot, chooses to go with the left. Shouldered off the ball by the Armenia defender and the keeper claims. Wow, really nice play there from the Armias defender. Yuda was one versus one. Surprised he didn't try to cut inside, cut inside to take a shot. But the Armias defender stuck with him well and defended the ball away. Chance here for Armias. An overload on the right-hand side. Ball chipped into the box. Sangari knew where his goal was confidently. Let it go wide. Aicho Ramirez, Romo, Ilo, alguien sabe si el arena es el blanco. El equipo de arena ahora está en blanco y rojo y el equipo de Málaga está en todo el blanco con calcetines negros. Así que ojalá toda la confusión está claro ahora porque nuestro, nuestro hombre de producción ha cambiado los colores debajo del nombre de los equipos. Así que Armías está llevando el rojo y FCMC está llevando el blanco. Cleared by Moni on the right-hand side. For, for an Armias throw. Hopefully FCMC can finish the half here strong. If they go in with only a three-goal deficit, an early goal in the second half could lead to all kinds of craziness. So you never know in games such as this as well. Chances have been had. Ilham with the chance in behind just then. A few chances off set pieces and a few strikes on goal. FCMC could be right back in this game. Armias building here. Cuts back inside. Over to the right wing. Gabriel out of position. A really good sliding tackle from Essien to clear the ball away. Only as far as the number who's two, two who swings back in. But there's that man, Essien, again with another clearance. Ball clipped back into the box. Filipovic does well to shield his defender from the ball. Ultimately, the ball cleared upfield to Kemet Page, whose touch just evaded him. Ball has gone out of bounds for an Almeas throw-in. I have a few more comments coming in. Mario Gamero, un saludo a Kerry Capija desde Ecuador. Así que, Kerry Capija, pienso que es uno de los jugadores de Arenas de Amia. Así que, está recibiendo apoyo de Ecuador. So, así que, muchos sudamericanos aquí jugando para Amias. Es muy bien para ver. Todos los países que están representando aquí. Y tenemos un otro comentario de Alberto Cuesta Torres. Hugo Vicente es el mejor jugador de la liga. Soy su fan número uno. Así que hay uno de nuestros delanteros, Alberto Cuesta, dando todo su apoyo a Hugo Vicente. Así que es una, una tipo de la familia que tenemos aquí a nuestra City Amoniac City. Así que todos los jugadores. Están apoyando todo. Hugo Vicente, claro, está en uh, el, el equipo de la jornada después de su hat-trick contra Cultura Lasaco. Y Alberto Cuesta Torres está muy feliz para Hugo. Y hola, Alberto puede, ser, puede marcar este fin de contra Puerto Remo Trill. Malaga continue looking to play out of the back here, but Armias intercept. But well defended by Essien. Drives forward, looking for the ball in behind for Yuta, but the pass just escapes him and goes out for an Armias throw. So as you can hear in the background, some of the substitutes heading into the changing room now to start to get ready, change their kit, put on their shin pads, as they are coming on at halftime. I just have received the substitute list from Charlie Malman, so I will get that over to you as soon as we can. We have the lineup coming, but we do not know who is coming on for who yet. But we will get them filled in, so we do have that graphic pop up. So on the bench, we have Impala, Adam, Malcolm, David, Kevin, Jonathan, Osa, and Alejandro. So those will be the subs that are coming on in the second half at some point. So if you did hear the name of someone that you like, someone that you support, please do stick around with us for the second half, and we will have them on the pitch just as soon as we can. 
Page on the right-hand side. Lovely little step over there. Looks to beat his defender for pace. Does well to get around him. Cuts back inside with a lovely little turn. Can he fashion a chance here? Cuts in onto that left foot. Let's see what he can do. Cuts back onto the right. Oh, and just runs out of space. Bit too much there from Kemet Page, but a really good effort to beat his man down the wing and do well to get the ball into a dangerous area before losing out to the good tackle of the Armias defender. Final minute here in Granada. Razor wins the ball to Felix. Felix tries forward, looks to slip Buda in behind, but the pass defended away. Picked up by Putra. We'll have a go from range. Ali Putra, ooh, looks like the keeper got a touch. Or did it just go wide? Referee says goal kick, so it just went wide. But what a strike that was from <laughs> Ali Putra. Picks it up from range on a ball that just kind of found its way to him. 30 yards from goal, I'd say. Putra, never lacking for confidence, takes one touch out, decides to have a go for it. I'll tell you what, he wasn't far away from that. Really good opportunity there by Ali Putra. Lovely bit of creativity. As the referee blows for half time. So, as the first half comes to a close, the FCMC under-21s find themselves 4-1 down. The game is not over, and with wholesale substitutions coming at halftime, there will be plenty of action for you to see in the second half. So, please do stick around for us, and we will see you shortly.
Yeah, so, so we're in the UK, um, my first ever trip over to, to England and um, you know, I think it's been, been a success to be honest. Um, you know, we're finishing up now our, our four day um, experience with a tour around Carroll Road. We brought the boys down here last night, um, they got to see a live Premier League game against Manchester United and then um, we're now getting to see the stadium where um, the Manchester United players and Norwich players were playing last night, so you know, unbelievable experience. Yeah, I think you know it's gone as, as well as it could have. You know, we have to review it now, and I mean, you can always do do better. Um, but for a first hit out, you know, I think we've done. Uh
Hello, and we are back underway just on time in the nick of time for the second half, where the FCMC under-21 side find themselves a 4-1 down against Arenas de Armia. So, we do have some changes to report. We don't know all of them yet, but we will figure them out as they come through. So, in goal, I can tell you for sure, number 25, Alejandro. The new keeper from Mexico is in for the Musa Sangare. I just spotted number four, Malcolm, in at right back for Nick Filipovich. Number 25, David, looks to have come in up top for Reza. And there's a strike from range right off the bat. That is one of the substitutes as well. Looks like that could be Impala, number 26, who seems to be a popular feature in the comment right now. From uh, Two comments from Oscar Ampala. Give us a good performance then. We can recover from the slow start in the first half. Yes, we can, Oscar. Hopefully your son can come on and change the game for us. There is that shot from range. Just goes over the bar. But a good half chance to start. Really good sign. Hopefully a sign of things to come. So as we see the new subs, we will bring them on. We have a comment from Susana Lopez. Vamos a ser arenas y ese remil ole. Si vamos. Si hay fanático de arenas aquí, tú puedes poner en nuestros comentarios. Me voy a leerlos. Así que porque queremos todo el apoyo que ponemos a todos los chicos del campo. So hopefully Malaga can come from behind here, find an early second half goal, and really get the bit between their teeth. Maybe have a go at the arena's defender who may be, a bit, may be tiring, maybe a few substitutions being made. And of course, David up top is a very good striker who can find the back of the net with that dangerous left foot of his. So we'll see if he can find his chance in behind and tuck one away early for us in the second half. So there you can see number 16, that's Adam. More substitutes coming on. Looks like some of the midfield three has come off. Looks like Felix, the number 17, has come off. We'll see who else once we get that wide angle shot. On the ball in the middle, some really good footwork there to Filipovic, who's found his way back onto the pitch. Though it looks like he had come off before, but Filipovic still on. So we have not received the official substitution list. We'll get to you everything there. We see number 12 who has swapped jerseys with Kemet Page. So we don't know who number 12 is. <laughs> we'll get an in for you as you can. The kits, some, some of the kit supply is running low here, so players are sharing kits. So we'll see what we can get to as much as we can. And there's number 11, Ali Putra, still running hard, giving pressure to the keeper there, forces him to clear under a good amount of pressure, but does well to find his man on the left-hand side. Gabriel looks like still in at left back. There is that number 12. Does well to find the number 25, David. Adam in the box here. What can David deliver? David does well. Shields the ball. Looks to win a corner, but the referee signals for a goal kick. There we had a shot of number four, Malcolm, as well. Here's David in the corner. Can't really tell from this angle whether it was a corner or a goal kick, but we do have a comment from Thato Sepopella, glad to see Malcolm on, confident he will influence the game. That's number four, so anyone right there in your screen now, you can see him tracking back. Number four, Malcolm, got some high expectations on him. Hopefully he can come on, find his way onto the ball, deliver some dangerous crosses from his position. You see him pressing high now, then create a good chance. Forces the ball to go into the middle. Tough touch there for the Armias defender, whose first touch evades the on-rushing David. Drives forward, plays a quick one too. Ball cleared, but the referee has whistled for a foul, it looks like, behind the play. So we have another comment from Jao Colejo. Number 12 is Kurt. So we'll write that down, keep that in our notes, that number 12 is Kurt. I will try to remember that. So that's David there. You see number 12, Kurt, in the middle. I'm just trying to say his name as much as I can so I can remember it. Referee signaled for a foul there. Not too sure what for, but we see it. So, free kick coming here. Looks like the referee is unhappy with something. So, we'll halt proceedings while the referee sorts out what he wants to. Got more comments coming in. Malcolm Fakudze is going to carry this team. So, again, high expectations being 
place on the number four, Malcolm, whose header there looks to have won his side a corner. Has so has done so indeed. So good header there for Malcolm. Ball goes out for an FCMC throw in early in the second half. So there's the replay of that. Ball swung in from the left back, Gabriel. The header there flicks off the head of an Armias defender and out for a corner. Here is that corner, knotted down at the top of the box. Can we get a shot away? Number six, Gabriel, the shot well held. Good positioning there from the Armias keeper. Gets his body behind the ball. Does not have a problem with the wet turf. Keeps the full shape behind it. Absorbs all the force into his arms. Goes down easy with it. More comments. Malcolm is a great signing. Number four, Malcolm. Heaps of pressure now on him to perform. Comment from Hansel Awogu. Referee blows a whistle, sprints over with intentions towards Kurt. Referee has given Armias a free kick here. We have a comment from João Victor da Casa Brasil. Number 22 is Kevin João Colejo. So, João Colejo, I do have to give you a thanks. If you want to come down under the stadium, I will shake your hand. Thank you for telling me who everyone is. Number 22 is Kevin. Driving forward now. That could be number 22 himself. No, it looks like number 26. That is Mpala. So Gabriel cuts inside. Finds the feet of Kurt. Kurt does well to possess. Back into Kurt. Again, under pressure. Gets taken down as the referee signals for a foul. Filipovic in space on the right-hand side if they want to find him. But we'll have a replay of the foul before. Ball inside. Kurt looks to turn his defender and gets taken down from the back. About an easy call for the referee as you can get. But the ball looks to have been attempted to be taken quickly and was blocked off. Gabriel could be asking for a bit of a booking there. No, that's Ali Putra, who knowing Ali probably was asking for a booking there. The referee does not look like he has obliged with that decision. And Putra decides to go short to the left wing to number 22, Kevin. Kevin into the feet of Adam. Zhao, haha, <laughs> you're welcome. That is very good. So, Zhao, thank you. You're the best. Really helping me out there. And we have a comment from Lanzo. I can't see that. The screen resolution is low. But we've got two more comments supporting Malcolm. So, huge support coming from Malcolm. Can you tell me where Malcolm is from? I'd love to know. We'd love to learn more information about him so we can share it with you or you can share it with me just so for the future under-21 streams we can tell you all you need to know about him. Watch out for number four. That's number four, Malcolm again. Look at all the popularity he has. Can he find himself on the score sheet? Good ball in from Gabriel. There he is. Oh, at the back post. Ball was just cleared before it could get to him. Armias looked to break here. Slip ball on the right-hand side. Gabriel doing well to track back behind the ball. Ultimately, finds his way in front of the attacker. Does really well to get a toe in. Armias forced to possess. Kurt steps high to win it back. Kurt again looks to go through the Armias defender. Seems to have gotten more ankle than ball. The referee says play on and then blows it back for a foul. Kurt can't have many complaints there. I don't think anyone can have too many two complaints. A clear foul there and a free kick for Armias. So, news coming in that Malcolm is from Swaziland. So, Swaziland, I believe, just north of South Africa. So, I believe he was one of the players that began in Estepona and decided to make the change into the Amanyeka setup. Of course, Swaziland renamed Eswatini. I know it's in the southern part of Africa. It may be just on the border with South Africa and Mozambique, if my geography served me, correct me. Please correct me if I'm wrong. My African geography is not too, too great, but I'm hoping the best. Also known as F. Zutini in Africa. Okay, perfect. We're, get, we're, getting some, we're getting some more information here, so we're learning quite a bit. More comments coming in from Malcolm. This is fantastic, giving me something to talk about. And if Malcolm finds himself on the score sheet here, I am going to go crazy. So Hopewell Seidel, great player Malcolm is. We've seen flashes so far. We've seen flashes of the brilliance. Hopefully he can find the ball in some space, really take on the defenders, find himself a goal.
Ball cycled back to substitute keeper Alejandro. Alejandro has been on the bench for the FCMC senior side with an injury coming to Neil De Jesus. Alejandro has been thrust directly into action behind normal starting goalkeeper Fune. We've heard good reports from all the FCMC senior players that I know. He's a very good keeper, very quality, so we'd like to see him in the under-21 setup just to get some minutes. Our Mias players walking behind us, heading to the changing room. Their work done for the night. Of course, making the noises that all teenage boys make as they walk past. So we do apologize for that. As David looks to break down the right-hand side, does really well. Powerful runner with the ball, but he's shielded off by the Armias defender. Illegally so, says the referee, who blows for a free kick. There's the replay of that. David muscled off the ball, but the referee is, says illegally so. So, free kick here for FCMC. Ali Pucha over the ball, directing traffic confidently, as Ali does. Swings it in, but can't beat the first man, and it is cleared. So, with the information that Malcolm is from Swaziland, also known as Eswatini, I believe he is the second high re highly rated player we've had from there, as I believe Sachin De Silva, a player of the CDAC under-23 and senior team last year, was also from Swaziland. Correct me if I'm wrong, and if you know him in the comments, please let me know, but I do believe Sachin De Silva was from Swaziland. So it might be fellow compatriot there, a bit of a connection made. Could be our second player here from Eswatini, and if he's anywhere near as good as Sachin, he's going to have a great career here in Spain. Back to the possession from our Armias. Clearance from the keeper. Another comment. Miguel Pedro Guinard. You can send a greeting to Rosa Milano. I follow you from Brazil. So another Brazilian fan here. And it looks a shot from distance and it looks to have gone in. It has. Where has that come from? A chance seemingly out of nothing finds its way past the keeper and all of a sudden it's 4-2 and it's game on again. So let's have a look. Armias was just possession. I was reading the comments. Possessing the ball, back to the keeper. There's the clearance. Headed back in by Ali Putra. Kurt picks it up. Finds its way to David. And as I was saying before, unleashes a shot with that cannon of a left foot. Tucks it into the corner. And all of a sudden, FCMC have their tails back up. And it's 4-2. So, FCMC all of a sudden back in the game here after a good finish from David. And it's 4-2 with half an hour left to go. I don't see a reason we can't come back and get a result from this match. So, back in the comments... We do have people saying, yes, Sachin is from Swaziland as well, and that Sachin and Malcolm used to go to school together. So we are making the correct connections here. Now next to me producing Ellie Brett. She has helped me out with this, remembering Sachin was indeed from Swaziland. There's another chance here. Gabriel looks to find his way onto the left foot. Just loses out. A bit of a slip on the wet turf there as Armias looks to counter. Wow, really good pace there from the right winger. Pass Ali Putra like he wasn't even there. And then pass the next player as well. It cuts into the box. What a goal this would be. Oh, but the shot is tame in the end into the hands of the waiting goalkeeper, Alejandro. Wow, what a brilliant run that was. Taking on two, three players, getting the better of them. Cuts back unselfishly instead of having a shot. But here's David in behind again. Goes to lob the keeper. Will it find the back of the net? Oh, the shot goes just wide in the end. But David really creating havoc here for the Armenians back line, looking to single-handedly drag the FCMC under-21s back into the game. So ball over the top. David just can't direct it onto the finish as Armenians make a change in goal. And we have Kelsio Santos in the comment. Nadja Power, vamos Kevinho. 
So Kevin twenty two, if I remember my African history again, I believe that Naja Power is a reference to Nigeria. So if Kevin's Nigerian, please let me know. Corey Kelsey Dos Santos from the FCMC under twenty side. From the FCMC twenty under twenty three side. So great to have him on board with us tonight. Really nice to see him. Back to the action here. As Armias looked to possess out of the back. Ball switched to the left wing. Ali Putra hustling over to close down. Ball into the middle. Defended away by number 22, Kevin, who I've just been told is from Brazil. So my guess was incorrect. Zhao Kalejo, again, my statistician in the back has corrected me. So Zhao, thank you once again. Kevin from Brazil. As Armias had, it looks like it was a corner given away there. So corner for Armias. Let's see if we can defend from this one. So a few of the Armias center backs coming in. Out swinging ball. Alejandro stays at home. First header one. Cleared by Kurt. Alejandro comes for this one. Big claim. And Kelsio Santos correcting me. Kelvin is not Nigerian. He's Brazilian. So the commentator did get that one wrong. But a good correction from both Kelsio and Zhao in the comments. And Kelsio is correcting me. David is Nigerian. So I was right with one of them, but wasn't right. Pues bueno, estamos viendo un partido muy interesante. Desde aquí quiero mandar un saludo a todos los que están viendo el partido. ¡Vamos! We did have one of the Armias fans wanting to give a shout out to all Armias fans watching, so we've let him get on the stream. So great to hear from him. We are an inclusive club here at FC Malaga City, and I do have a comment that I need to address, but we'll see if Malcolm can find his way onto the score sheet. Looked to have been taken down on the edge of the box there, but Armias looked to counter. Amelia Asik, someone give this commentator a raise. So, Amelia, if you could get on the line with our boss, Richard Jackson, and sort me out a raise, that would be fantastic. But I do this out of the goodness of my heart. But, Amelia, thank you for the kind words. It's always great to hear from you. you and hopefully you and George watching together tonight. There is no place I would rather be on a Wednesday night than in Armias commentating. I love working for the club. Love working for Cheers, mate. So thank you very much for the kind words. Great to hear from you, and I'm sure I will be seeing you tomorrow. So substitution there. On comes number five, Osa. So one of the last substitutes that hasn't come on. So he has entered the fray now, looking to make a difference in this final 25 minutes. Have a few more comments. John Curte, who Kelsio Santos. Kelsio Santos again. Vamos FCMC. Look at the support within the academy we have. Under 23 players, senior players, everyone just watching the game, wanting to see the under 21s play. It's great support through the club. Really that family atmosphere that we try to build and we try to create here. Ball into the feet of Adam. Filipovic on the overlap if he wants him. Adam chooses the shorter option, but it's intercepted before ball can find its way to its intended target. Armia break down the right-hand side. Ball cut in behind, shepherded away by number 22, Kevin, who I learned is from Brazil. We're making connections now through the comments and onto the stream. Kevin from Brazil. And there is another comment in from Kyle Jakes, watching from the Hotel, Hotel Carmen common room. So yet more support from the FC MC team. Kyle Jakes, of course, with the FC MC under 23s. And I believe, if my memory serves me correctly, has been training with the FC MC senior side as of late, looking for some cover for Juan Carlos's side. So of course, that FC MC senior side flying in the league right now. 
big one nothing victory over Loja at the weekend puts them in second position in the league. And those are the results that you need to get against certain teams that are bottom of the league. A one nothing win. You know what? Most important thing is three points. So Kyle, been helping out with the first team. Great to hear from you watching in the Hotel Carmen common room. And I'm sure we'll be back there in the next few days to continue my work on the hotel. So Kurt in the midfield. A good little turn, gets away from two defenders, has Filipovic as he wants him, chooses to go instead himself down the right-hand side, picked up by Malcolm. And ball out for an FCMC throw-in. So Malaga City in the ascendancy here, looking to create a third goal off this corner. We got a comment in from Nanjabulo Bwee, number five, Osa is South African. Okay, good to know. So more information being shared with me from all the players. Love all the comments. Love all the support. Really helping me commentate to the best of my abilities. Corner swung in. The header at the near post cleared. Back into the box. Can we get on the end of it? Left footed volley. Defended away. Another half chance there for the under 21s. Really pressing ahead. Love to see it. So here's a replay. Can't tell by the number who took the corner. But it was a very good corner nonetheless. Beat the first man, which has been a very big thing in the match today. Looks like while wow, that the corner, the next corner is waiting to be taken, so we will show you the full replay. A volley at the back post coming in with the left foot. Corner taken quickly. The shot from Rage, and it's in. It's in. It's 4 3. All of a sudden, FCMC are straight back in the game. A shot from distance seems to be number six taking the plaudits. Number six is Gabriel, would be his second goal of the night. So we've got a replay for you of that for you right now. So the corner kick, one-hand signal, definitely something that was worked on by head coach Alvaro Arias. Header cleared out by Armias. Gabriel recollects at the edge of the box, unleashes a strike, skips off the wet turf. Keeper gets two solid hands on it, but can't stop it from going into the back of the net. And all of a sudden, it's a one-goal game, and Malaga have 20 minutes to find, a, to find an equalizing goal. What a turn of events. So more comments rolling in. Joseph Matewa watching from Gabon, Botswana. So another Southern African country. I believe Botswana is on the very west coast of the country. Of course, Thato Savabella really enjoying the commentary. Great work from you, Thato. Thank you very, very much. Always nice to hear a compliment like that. Still a relatively in my infancy as a commentator. So seeing comments like that really give me the confidence to keep going. So thank you very much for that. And a bunch more comments. I sense a comeback. Ashley Munavahu, FCMC, Brazilian Magic, Kelsio. Yes, indeed, Gabriel. Another left-footed strike into the goal. <laughs> sense the comeback could be on here. Wouldn't be surprised if we can find a fourth within the next five minutes. Armias playing around the back. Good pressure there from number, f <laughs> from number five, Osa, the South African, doing really dogged work in the corner. Ultimately gives away the foul, but you love to see that work rate, especially in the 70th minute of a player of a substitute pressing just as high as he can to really try to win the ball back. Here's a replay of that for you now. Really good sliding challenge there to initially win it, but the turn just allows the Armenian defender to get back goal side. And he was ultimately taken down as behind. Don't think Osik or Alvaro Arias, head coach, can have too many complaints about that. Turnover there from Armias allows David to capitalize, but is passed just outside the outstretched toe of Adam. Does well to recollect at the second attempt, and David can drive forward here. Referee's whistle blows for a foul in favor of the under-21s. So set piece here. We're reaching, starting to reach the point in the game where a lot of these set pieces could provide key chances into finding that equalizing goal. So, looks like Pucha over the ball again. Did deliver that ball on the right-hand side. So, either Pucha or Gabriel over the ball. Looks like a left footer. My guess is that's Gabriel. Ball swung in, looking for Osa at the back post. Cleared by Armias, but a throw-in coming for FCMC.
Kurt on the ball. Armias looks to counter. Good step up there by one of the substitute defenders. Really good step. Kurt does well to recollect in the middle. Ball played into the left-hand side. Two really good step overs. Cuts in onto the right foot. Has a go. I'll tell you what. Not as far away as I thought. Ambitious attempt, but an attempt that can go in. We've seen the keeper not be too short-handed with a few of the goals, so why not have a shot from range? Cuts inside. Curls it just gets under the ball a little bit as it goes over the bar. Confident play in the midfield for Armias here. As we look to find that equal as we go. Zhao Colejo in the comments again. Yes, that was Gabrielle. Good job, Zhao. Thank you for your approval. You've helped me with everything tonight. So it's glad to know that I finally got one of the Brazilian names right. As, of course, he's tucked that one away into the bottom corner. Second goal of the night. Hopefully he can complete his hat trick and find us that equalizing goal as we uh, tick towards the final 15 minutes. Long ball from goalkeeper Alejandro. Finds the head of Kurt. Brings it down well. Ball cleared for a Granada, for a Malaga City throw-in. Filipovic over to take. You can see the hooded figure of Florencia Buzzo in the bottom right-hand corner. Our wonderful photographer who braves all sorts of conditions to take all those pictures that you see plastered all over our social media. So if you don't follow us, please head over to FC Malaga City. Follow our Instagram. Ball picked up in the middle, slipped into the left-hand side. Seeing David get on the end of it just short. Looks like pressing high. That's number four, Malcolm. That's our bo that's our man from Eswatini. So Malcolm pressing high in the middle. And there's the South African Osa. Takes the throw in quickly into the chest of David. Will look to find his way onto that left foot. David does well. Look at him shield the ball from the defender. Filipovic with a few nice step overs. Looks inside for Malcolm. Does well to recollect it. Possible chance here for FCMC. Malcolm does well. Shields two challengers. Switches the ball out to Gabriel. Number six, the scorer of two goals. He's got a brace so far. Can he find a hat trick? Chooses to go in behind on the left-hand side, but the pass is cut out. Armias will look to break the long ball over the top towards Filipovic. Can Filipovic contain it? Good step there from number two. I believe that's Jonathan, if my memory serves me correctly. And the sliding tackle is blown for a foul by the referee. Don't think we'll see too many cards. Gabriel remonstrating with the ref. Didn't seem to think it, there was much in it. Good backtrack from Kurt there. It looks like the Armia's player slid first and got more. And the referee saw it a different way. Nevertheless, a free kick from Armia's about 30 yards from goal. So number five from Armias over the ball. Doesn't look like there's too many options in the box. I wouldn't be surprised if he has a shot at this. If he scores this, would be one for the highlight reel. Alejandro clearly worried about the shot. Sets up a three-man wall. Kurt goes and tracks the run into the right. Looks like a shot coming in from distance here. Wow, he beats the wall. And ooh, good save there from Alejandro. Had to work quickly across his goal and parry wide. I have a feeling that was on target. Looks like it was goal bound. Have a replay of that now. Number five does well to keep the ball down. Gets it up and down over the wall. Alejandro had to be alert there. Got two strong hands to push it wide of the goal. The resulting corner swung in. Ball bounces in the box. Slipped clearance, but then further cleared up the pitch for Malcolm to chase. Ball onto the right-hand side. Cut inside. Recollected by Armias. Bit of a spell of possession here from Armias. Two chances, free kick, then the corner. Armias enjoying what I like to call a bit of a purple patch. 
Good sliding tackle there from Gabrielle to force the play backwards, but really good footwork from the Armias player. Cuts it back and forth, but no fooling the Brazilian Gabrielle, who looks like he was fouled from behind. As a bit of handbags ensue, referee just runs over to take control of proceedings. Doesn't look like too much in it as Kurt stands over the ball ready to take the free kick. Looks like a substitution there. Gabrielle seems to be waving number 14 on. So Gabrielle comes off. On comes number 14. If Do we have a number for number 14? Do we have a name for number 14? Can we match a name to the number? We cannot, unfortunately. So free kick taken long down the left-hand side. Ball will be recollected by Armia and Good tackle there down the right-hand side from Filipovic. Bit of afters, maybe. Looks to be getting a bit scrappy here in the final few minutes. Bit of pushing and shoving going around. Not always not like to see. So Filipovic still taking exception to something going on in the corner as Alvaro Arias quickly gives instructions to number 22, Kevin, the Brazilian. Throw and take it into the chest of the Armias players. Referee blows for a foul on a combination of both Kurt and Adam and a really dangerous free kick here from the left-hand side of the box. So replay for you now. Adam in behind first. Kurt follows up. Think it has to be a foul. As much as we want to disagree, it looks a foul to us. So we do have another comment. So who just came on? I believe that was number 14 who we didn't have a number for. But Jao Kalejo tells me his name is Ali Mirza. Jao Kalejo, I don't know what I would do without you right now. And if you'd want a job, you can more than happily come down here with us and share us every name of and every number of everyone you know. So Jao, again, I cannot thank you enough for how you've helped us tonight. Free kick for Armias. Swung in. Good header there at the near post. That is number 22. That's Kevin, again, one of the Brazilians, making that connection. Zhao told me that before, so we're learning now. The replay of that now. Looks like the, I heard the shout of away come from Alejandro, so you could hear it. You could even hear it through the speakers. So really commanding in that. Great presence to have from a goalkeeper. Header clear. Corner for Armias. Corner from Armia swung in dangerously. Bit far. Kurt, oh, is he going to call a handball? Oh, he is. The referee is going to give a penalty for a handball, and what a decision that is. Just takes the game away from everyone. His hand was down by his side, but the referee follows the letter of the law and gives a pen. Oh, did it even hit his hand? Oh, let's have a, can we have another look at that? I would love to have another closer, closer look at that. And while we're waiting for the penalty to be taken, we will have a look at that. Ball swung in. The back heel flick, ah, it looks like it did hit right around his elbow. So as much as we disagree with it, arm away from the body. The resulting penalty is oh, tucked away confidently down the middle, just out of the reach of the hand of Alejandro. And that may just be that as Armias take a convincing two-goal lead. 5-3 here with 80 minutes to go. So, with the two-goal advantage restored from Armias, Malaga do have a mountain to climb in the final 10 minutes. It is possible, as we did see Armias notch three goals in five in the first half, so there are signs for hope, and Malaga have been on the ascendancy. So the ball from Malcolm, can he get back on the end of it? Does well to shield the defender, out for an Armias throw, and just think Malcolm may have gotten a bit confused there as to who touched the ball last, as Armias looks to go backwards. 
Osa pressing high, the South African. Have, can, has to be said, Osa has been impressive this game. Really good running, really good turn of pace. Have to see him on the ball a bit more to really form a full opinion of him. But the physical attributes are clearly there. We'd like to see more of him in this coming season. Free kick here for FCMC under 21. Adam over the ball as they as FCMC look to commit a lot of numbers forward. So have to get a goal. So all hands to the pump here. Let's see what Adams decides to do. Hopefully looking for that area right between the six and the penalty spot in no man's land of the keeper. And tell you what, he's putting the ball right there. There's a huge chance on the line. It's in the net, but the referee has his hand arm up for offsides. Oh, could have been 5-4, but the referee calls for offsides. Have to say, what a ball that is by Adam, right into the danger area. Didn't really see an offsides. Ball was turned into the net by number 26, Impala. But at the same time, referee blows for offsides. Bit of a strange decision there. Not totally sure I saw what he saw. But nonetheless, the referee has given offsides, and the score stays at 5-3. FCMC continuing to press to the last minute there. Ball one back in the midfield by Armias, but returned over. There's number four, Malcolm. Can he find himself on the score sheet? Looks like it was defended away. Could be a Malaga corner. Referee has signaled for a goal kick. We'll have a replay for you. Then. A bit of scrappy play by Armias in the middle. Couldn't really get their foot on the ball. Malcolm drives forward, but it did touch off his toe last as he tried to get a shot away. So the resulting goal kick has led to a break for Armias on the right-hand side. Cuts inside. Ball switched play. Stood up there. Filipovic at number five, Oso, working in tandem down the right-hand side to defend the ball away. Really good tracking there from Filipovic. Kurt in behind. Does well to force the ball even further towards the center back. David and Malcolm staying high up the pitch here as FCMC need to press to find two goals in the final eight minutes. Clips ball into the channel. Finds his way to the feet of Jonathan. Inside a flick from Ali. Finds Adam. Looks to spray the ball wide to number 26. That's Impala. Can Impala deliver a cross? Back to Adam. 1-2. Oh, and the return pass from Adam just not on the same page. Goes out for an Armias goal kick as the time continues to tick away. Ante Filipovic in the comments, not too happy with the refereeing. Ref might as well be wearing a striped shirt, one of the, like one of those NHL refs, eh, Ante? But yeah, referee, some questionable decisions made tonight. But that's what you'll get in games like this. And ge these games, in all honesty, aren't about the results. These friendly games are about the experience. It's really about the players learning how to play against high-level competition and to learn to play really the Spanish football style that's going on. So overall, regardless of refereeing decisions, a great experience for our boys tonight, and I'm sure they're learning quite a bit about how they play, how they play together, and really becoming a real team tonight. FC MC pushing. Defended well by number five, Osa. Kurt looks to drive forward confidently. Does so. Takes on two defenders, but ultimately loses out to the left back. As the clock ticks towards the final few minutes here, Filipovic up quickly to take the throw. Osa finds some space. Does well to turn his man and is taken down. Free kick here. Chance to get numbers into the box. Can we maybe find a fourth goal? Let's see how that free kick came about. Quick throw in from Filipovic. Osa does well. Look at the strength of him there just to turn his man. Wins his side a free kick. So Adam over the free kick. Great delivery the first time. Let's see if he can replicate that again. Looking for that known corridor of uncertainty just between the penalty spot and the six-yard box where the keeper can't really make a decision. Two hands up. He plays the ball in brilliantly again at the back post. Oh, just a miscommunication there. Kurt rose highest, but it looks like Osa and Impala were better placed behind him. If one of them had given him a shout, maybe he could have ducked under. It could have been a tap-in. 
So Adam, there's Kurt getting h jumping high, but you can see there number five Osa, number twenty six Impala, both better positioned at the back post. Just a bit of miscommunication there. Long ball over the top, looking for number four, Malcolm. Keeper high off his line. Referee has blown the play dead for and off sides. Malcolm in behind there, looking dangerous in the last five minutes. Has had a few half chances. Hopefully he can get notch a goal before the game and really put the pressure on Armias. Adam steps forward. Armias midfielder does well to play tackles both of him and number five, Osa. Ball in, good step there by Jonathan. Number 22, Kevin, tracking back. Armias player does not manage to keep the ball in and seems to has, have hurt himself in the process as the referee comes running over to the near side. Not too sure what's going on with that. But I believe it's a throw-in on the far side for FCM. See, the referee has spoken to whomever he needed to speak to and has now re-entered the fray. From Jonathan into the feet of Impala, draws the foul. Free kick from the far side, looking over the top for the run of Impala. Can he get there? Just out of his reach and goes out for an Armias goal kick. As we are into the last four minutes of play here, time is running out for the Malaga comeback. Ball played short, nice little line breaking ball there from the substitute goalkeeper, All cycled all the way back to him. Throw in taking quickly, looking for number 14, Ali. Cut out. The flick header over Kevin, cleared really well there from Jonathan. Finds number five, Osa. Just slips on the wet turf, but it recollects really well. Plays into the feet of Filipovic. Filipovic does well to dig the ball out, just not on the same page as Osa there as the ball goes all the way back to the keeper. Can Malcolm make it interesting, though? Keeper under a bit of pressure here with the bouncing ball. Malcolm steps high, chooses to go short. David can put, apply some pressure here, uh, but Malcolm's backed off. And the keeper does have a bit of time just to play a beautiful clipped ball into the right-hand channel. Good recovery work from Impala. Wins the ball back. Impala tries to turn. Tell you what, lovely little bit of footwork there, but unlucky that the ball just rolled out before he could get a handle on it. Throw in taken from Armias, who, feel, who must feel like they have this game won. But Malaga will fight until the end as the referee gives yet another foul. Hmm, did not see that one. We'll have a replay of that. We'll see what you all think of it. Here's the play. Kurt, uh, maybe his hands were high. Didn't look like he did anything too illegal with his leg. Maybe he just could have called for a hand above the shoulders, maybe towards the neck area. Nevertheless, Armia's free kick swung dangerously to the punch. Punched strongly from Alejandro as the referee's hand is up for offsides. Really good, incisive, decisive goalkeeping there from Alejandro. Quickly off his line. Big, strong punch out of the box. Good signs from the substitute keeper today. Been unlucky, only conceded from the penalty. So really good positive performance from him in what I believe is his second match here at FC Malaga City. Did play about 15 minutes in the, friend, the FCMC senior friendly against Lucena last week, where, of course, we must send our congratulations to our very own Nicky Gallo, who signed his first professional contract for Lucena and actually made his debut last weekend, playing 15 minutes in a 2-0 win for the Segunda Ref High Flyers. And on that note, the referee has decided to call time on the match tonight. So the FCMC Under-21 comeback falls just short in the final few minutes with a rather dubious penalty decision going against them. But overall, fantastic performance from the FCMC under-21 side. And we will have the highlights of the goals for you coming up right now. So, as if on cue, our lovely producer Ellie Brett brings them up. Here's one of the goals. So the keeper clears long. I believe this is David's left-footed strike into the corner. The ball finds its way back in. Good little knockdown by Kurt. Nice turn. David picks it up, turns, and fires into the bottom corner. Really good finish from him. Confident finish on the left peg. 
And then the second goal of the half from a corner. This was Gabrielle's finish, if I remember. The left-footed ball that found its way out to the top of the box after the corner. The ball was headed clear. And just like that, Gabrielle was the quickest to react again, took one touch out of his feet, and rifled into the bottom corner. So, the game ends 5-3 to Aramias, but an incredibly spirited performance from our FCMC under-21s who have plenty of positives and can be extremely proud with how they've done tonight. So to all watching, to all commenting, thank you very much for coming to this game with us. We hope to see you again very, very soon. And the very, very soon will be on Saturday at 7 p.m. Spanish time where the FC FMC Feminino side are back in action in Marbella. So we hope to see you all then with us. If not, we hope to see you back with the under-21 side soon. To all watching, thank you very much for tuning in. And until Saturday, good night.